It's the end of a holiday in Anchorage, Alaska's biggest city. A tight-knit Muslim community is saying their goodbyes at a local gym where they celebrate major events. Until a few years ago, the community numbered in the hundreds. But with the influx of refugees from Sudan, Iraq, Somalia, and other countries, the community has grown to around 3,000. Okay, here we go. Their prayer rugs gathered. They'll take them back to a small office that serves as their mosque for now. This strip mall in the middle of Anchorage is where thousands of Muslims come to pray, but there's no room for school or other activities. Soon, though, they hope to have a home of their own. Freezing cold. It would be Alaska's first mosque. You know, it is like a dream coming through. Two years after Al Jazeera last visited, they finally started work at the site. Just surrounded this masjid. Four space. In addition to the mosque, they're planning to build a school and community center. They also hope to invite other religions to come and observe their traditions. So far, Alaska's non-Muslims have taken little note of the plan. Those we spoke to expressed measured acceptance. You would try to teach religious tolerance and so forth, so I, I, I don't know what to say about that. It's not ground zero. If they want to build a mosque, that's okay, because religion, is, that's part of freedom of freedom. I think everybody should have their own religion. That's, yeah, as long as it's, it's good and it's, you don't hurt anybody. Local religious scholars say the project is all about Muslims putting roots down in Alaska. I think it gives us a sense of place, a sense of we're here, a sense of that we, we, we're, we're part of this community and we, we know that. So far, the biggest challenge has been financial. We need outside help. Mainly in Alaska we have only refugees, not many professionals at all. And refugees have little money to help with the project. So every few months, the leaders of the community fly south to Seattle or Chicago or other U.S. cities looking for donations from other Muslims. Because without outside help, Alaska's first mosque could remain just a dream. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Anchorage, Alaska.